president says he will not participate in next week's debate if it's held virtually. The Commission on Presidential Debates just this morning announced the debate one week from today would be held virtually with President Trump and Joe Biden debating from separate locations. The president says he won't do it and accuses moderators of trying to protect Biden. I, and I, I want to add, if, Mr. Vice President, I'm speaking. I'm the reality, if I, may, if I may finish, then. All right, some tense moments of last night's vice presidential debate between Vice President Pence and Senator Harris. Coronavirus, of course, was the big talker as the two sat 12 feet apart, separated by plexiglass. Harris criticized the Trump administration's handling of the pandemic, while Pence says it could have been a lot worse without the president's leadership. President Donald Trump did what no other American president had ever done. And that was he suspended all travel from China, the second largest economy in the world. Whatever the vice president is claiming the administration has done, clearly it hasn't worked. When you're looking at over 210,000 dead bodies in our country. And you know they didn't stop there. The two also butted heads on issues of race. We are talking about an election in 27 days where last week the president of the United States took a debate stage in front of 70 million Americans and refused to condemn white supremacists. Not true. And Not true. it wasn't like he didn't have a chance. He didn't do it, and then he doubled down. Later on Morning Blend, our verified team is taking a closer look at some of the claims separating fact from fiction. Meanwhile, debate and rhetoric experts were also hard at work last night. They studied the showdown between these two candidates. And ABC 10's Kevin John, he has reaction this morning from a Sac State professor who knows all about persuasive speaking. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Kirsten. Yeah, well, the first thing, it's safe to say that there wasn't nearly as much name calling as we saw in the presidential debate last week. For the most part, both candidates maintaining great composure throughout, but yes, there were a few tense moments that took place. Now, for many who watched the debate, they may have noticed that both candidates at times dodged and danced around certain questions that were asked to them. And according to this professor from Sac State, she says, well, that's actually a strategy that they're using. Take a listen. It's definitely a thing that folks do during debates because at the end of the day, they want to get their message across of who they are as a candidate and what their positions are. And so finding ways to repeat their positions, whether or not they directly answer the question is definitely a strategy that we've seen used in previous debates. Yes, yeah, she went on to say that fact checkers will have a quote field day with this debate because there were certain things that she heard that she did not believe to be true. Now, the professor did say that there is something that the American people can celebrate from last night's vice presidential debate. I'll explain exactly what that is coming up in the next half hour, Kirsten. All right, can't wait to see what they agree on. Thank you for that, Kevin. All right, so that's gonna bring us to our question of the day. Who do you think won the vice presidential debate? You can vote on our app or at abc10.com slash vote. And as always, we want you to join the conversation on our ABC 10 TV Facebook page.